Next year marks the 25th anniversary of MLS. And in celebration, we're diving into the archives to shine a light on everything that makes this league so special. In this episode, we're looking at the one and only Freddie Adu. Hey, I'm Freddie. Selected as first super draft pick for DC United back in 2004, the youngest MLS player and goal scorer of all time really did have the world at his feet. Adu made a strong start to his career in the US capital, and he did start right away. After attracting interest from Inter Milan aged just 12, he was made the league's highest paid player, so there wasn't much chance of him being bedded in slowly. Almost 25,000 turned up to see his debut, 10,000 more than DC's average the previous season. And over the course of the year, he appeared in all 30 games for the club, starting 14 of them. With five goals and three assists from midfield, reminder, at age 14, there was more than enough reason to believe he could be the real deal. A spot in the MLS All-Star team followed as his first year ended in glory. Here's the deal. Now getting on a bit at 15, he came on as a substitute as DC won their fourth MLS Cup. DC United are champions again for the fourth time. The numbers kept flowing. But Adu was frustrated over a lack of starts, which he saw as the reason for him missing out on the US 2006 World Cup squad, despite again being named in that year's All-Star team. Trials at Manchester United came to nothing, and fallings out with his manager at DC led to moves to Real Salt Lake, then Benfica, before a well-documented demise. But for a few fleeting years, Adu really did seem to be the great American hope a nation had been waiting for. Looking back on it, expecting a boy of 14 to navigate the trials of growing up in the public eye and bear the weight of the media spotlight might have been unrealistic. Barca didn't even release Leo Messi on the world until he was 16. You just go out there and play, you know, and just have fun. Only a few years after immigrating to the US from Ghana at age 8, he was offered contracts that could change the life of his single mother, who was working three jobs just to take care of him. Publicly at least, Adu's never expressed outright regret at how his career panned out, and he's still proud of what he achieved in the game and on a personal level for his family. Maybe it was a case of a talent of his magnitude coming too soon for US football, Adu taking his eye off the ball, or a bit of both. But his records will likely never be broken, and for a brief moment, he did live the American dream, even if it never came true in the end. Oh, my God.